boys and girls here is a second example of function overloading here i go here here is a class which will calculate the volume of a sphere volume of a cylinder and volume of a cube ball in this class there are four methods are there <coughs> the first method first three methods are volume 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 followed by a method for this main method as i told you before main method is the gateway of your <coughs> class in other words this is the entry point first of all no matter wherever the main method is there it gets into the first main method what do i do i have a class called as vol shortest form of volume with the help of this class i create an object called as obj obj system dot out dot print length volume of a cylinder please note from main method with the help of this object i transfer the control from main method to a method called as volume a method called as volume please note there are two parameters are there the first parameter is 7.3 and second parameter is 6.9 6.9 from main method it looks for a method called as volume with two double parameters please have a look this is a one parameter it won't go it will come here there are two parameters are there so 7.3 will be stored in h shortest form of height of your cylinder and 6.9 which to as a radius of your cylinder so what are those 7.2 and 6.9 both the value get substituted it will simplify whose answer will be stored in a variable called as v which is shortest form of volume that volume gets returned please note in the previous example we wrote public void I am not using a void here. Instead, I am using a variable called as a keyword called as double. What does it do? It doesn't. It returns a double value. After calculating the volume of the cylinder, whose value will be returned? Where have we come from? We have come from main method. So from here, the V gets returned. So the value of V will be displayed. Value of V will be displayed. Afterwards. It comes to the next statement of the main method. What does it do? System dot out dot print L means it will display on your monitor. What does it say? Volume of a cuboid. Volume of a cuboid. From main method, it goes to a method called as volume with the three parameters: sixteen point zero, seventeen point zero, and nineteen point two. So from main method, the control gets transferred to the method called as volume mode here. So what is the What is the length value will be? Your length would be 16.0. Your breadth would be 17.0, and your height would be 19.2. With these three values, length into breadth into height, this is the volume formula for volume of a cuboid. It gets simplified. Whose answer will be stored in V, which is shortest form of volume. That. What value gets returned back to the main method where you are displaying now? Where you are displaying now? Then the last statement of your main method: System dot out dot print L N volume of a sphere. Volume of a sphere means you have only one argument, which is nine point six. From main method, the control gets transferred to the a method called as volume with one parameter. With one parameter, what is the value? Is 9.6. What the radius of your sphere is? 9.6. Volume of your sphere is what? 4 by 3 pi r cube. 4 by 3. What the pi value is? 22 by 7. Instead of writing r into r into r thrice, I am using a <coughs> built-in function called as math dot par. R to the power three means so r cube. So computer simplifies this answer. It substitutes the value of r, which is Which is 9.6 into 9.6 into 9.6. Right? It multiplies. It simplifies. Which answer will be stored again? 
this value gets returned back to this main method, that gets displayed. What, what do we do here? The first statement will calculate the volume of a cylinder. The second statement will calculate the volume of a cuboid. And the third statement will calculate the volume of a sphere. From my method, I am using this object called as OBJ. OBJ volume, OBJ volume, OBJ volume. Please see this arguments or the parameters. If it is two arguments, it goes here. If it is one argument, it goes to the third method. If it is three arguments, it goes to the first method. Here is an example of a function overloading. So, let me summarize what has been done today. We have done two programs of function overloading. I repeat again, function overloading is a concept of polymorphism. It is a concept of polymorphism. Polymorphism is one of the concepts of your object oriented programming. What does it say? Function overloading is in a class two or more methods can be there with having the same name with different arguments. So do refer your textbook exercises where ample number of problems are there. Please do try. If you have any queries, feel free to contact me. The number is displayed below. Contact me or WhatsApp me. Thank you. Have a good day.